Hey, welcome back. In this video, we'll explore the concept of resources in Terraform and how to define and manage them using main.tf files. So what we'll do is create a new file main.tf in Terraform resources represent the infrastructure components you want to manage such as virtual machines, databases, networks or any other provisionable entities. Resources define the desired state of these components and Terraform takes care of provisioning and managing them. So we'll create a main.tf file and we'll write a code for creating a simple S3 bucket using the same provider that we installed in the our last lecture. Here in AWS S3 resource block we provide a bucket name. This defines the name of S3 bucket to be created. In another example, AWS instance resource block, we specify the AMI and instance type settings. These values define the image and instance type for EC2 instance. Resources have various attributes that can be configured based on your requirements. These attributes define the characteristics of your provisioned resource, such as size, access permissions, and networking configuration. So, where do we get this from? For AWS, you will need understanding of. So, how do we get this AMI? Just go to instance types, and here are the instance types that we have chosen t2.micro. Here we can see t2.micro. And we can go to AMI's catalog, and we can see every resource has an AMI. When we launch an instance, we have to make certain choices, right? So, instead of going through this console, we are doing it through here. You can also combine two resources. For example, I'll show you something over here. So I want to assign a certain ID for this EC2 instance. So what I could do is just use security group IDs and I could call and create a new security group from here and that could be recalled as well. In this example, we are referring to ID of AWS security group example and using that newly created ID for our EC2 instance. This allows us to associate the instance with a specified security group. Terraform automatically manages the dependencies between resources ensuring they are provisioned in correct order. If one resource depends on other, Terraform will handle that automatically. You can also define provisioners within resource block to perform actions on the resource after it is created, such as running scripts or executing commands. In this example, we have defined a local execution provisioner within the AWS instance resource block. The provisioner runs a specified command in this case, echoing a message after the resource is created. And that's it. You now understand how to define and manage resources in Terraform using the main.tf file. Resources represent the infrastructure components you want to provision. And by configuring them in main.tf file, you can define their desired state. 